some Gamergate supporters believed that pressuring the advertisers of gaming sites that they perceived as being corrupt was a good way to convince them to initiate reform. What did you think of this strategy? I mean, it's um, it's very Alinsky's rules for radicals, isn't it? Because that has always been a tactic of the sort of populist censorship movements is always to threaten the advertisers or appeal to some higher authority to to get something changed that you don't like. Um, and so I, I can appreciate the, the point behind it, the idea of using the enemy's tactics against them. Um, but as I think we established earlier, I, I can't stand hypocrisy. And to me, that just felt like you were engaging in the same things that the enemy did. And I felt like that kind of undermined any sort of moral high ground we might have had. <laughs> but there's no denying the effectiveness. Would you, well, did you, did you see any emails yourself? No, I did not because it was not my not my scene. Uh, I spoke out a couple of times against the idea for the for the reasons I've outlined, but ultimately I didn't think I had any control over anybody else. So yeah, that was it. Hi, I'm Techie on Blue. Thank you for watching another one of my GamerGate book video segments. Altogether, I've interviewed over seventy people involved with GamerGate and I'm going to be launching a Kickstarter campaign in the coming weeks. So please, I need your support to help make this project a reality. I'm turning these 70 plus interviews into a multi-volume series of books, the first volume of which is already completed. And so I'd like you to please stay tuned for more information about the Kickstarter. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and comment. More updates will be coming in the near future. Thank you, and take care.